Welcome to a sunny and warm Knock Hill Racing Circuit for the final round of the Scottish BMW Compact Cup. Now, the championship has already been decided in favour of Gary Clark, who won it last time out. He's won the championship with a fantastic year. He gives us a wee wave, and he won it with a whole round to spare. But it's Callum King, who won last time, back on pole position, continuing his successful run. Um, Callum... I didn't think we were going to see you again. You turned up. You've been away racing in the National Mini Championship. You turned up last time, took an overall race win, your first win, and you're back on pole position. Yeah. Uh, luckily, SMRC are nice enough to give you two rounds as a guest, so I'll take advantage of that. And after last weekend, it uh, makes sense to come back, so I'm happy to get pole. It was tight, but last lap, so I'm happy with that. And there's no pressure here because there's no championship that you're going to get in the way of. Gary's already won it. It's just a straight fight. Yeah. Everyone's out to enjoy themselves, so... I'm hoping the top group of us can break away and take it home in one bit, so it's a fine day, so just enjoy it. Good luck. Thank you. And with that, I'll hand it to Richard, BMW race number one. Callum King on pole, Gary Clark alongside then Lee Elric and David McNaughton on row two. Third row, Alastair Smith and Cliff Harper. Neil McInnes and Greg Sutherland from Ashley Morris and Stephen King on row five. Six row, Richard Sutherland, and next to him, Stephen Goldie. Then it's Douglas Simpson and Ray McDowell. Rory Clark next from Liam Grant. Jeff Clark, Andrew Mackey and Gordon McShannock completing the grid for round 15. The penultimate race of the 2016 Scottish BMW Championship. The red lights are on for the penultimate time here in 2016 at Knockhill for the BMWs. Great start off the line by Gary Clark. Clark from the outside of the front row in red leads. Callum King is down to second. He's down to third. Great start by David McNaughton. And King is down to third place, but he's being monster at the moment. Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was going to be by the 28 car of Alistair Smith. Cliff Harper and Lee Elric. Oh, side by side, they're getting stuck in. Elric in 14 being challenged by Neil McInnes in 91, who goes through. That's significant because Harper is third. Harper in front of him. McInnes is the black and yellow car. The car in front of him is Cliff Harper. Cliff is third in the championship. And then Lee Elric, who's behind McInnes at the moment, is, is uh, second in the championship by just four points from Harper. So Cliff Harper here is chasing second in the championship. But Gary Clark is the leader. We've got Callum King down the inside line of David McNaughton to challenge for second place. Although I think he might end up losing third position climbing up the hill. It's all very frantic behind them out of the hairpin for the first time. Other than that, looks like a pretty good and largely stress-free first lap. Alistair Smith up into second. Callum King is off on the curbs. Oh, the back end's coming round. And that, the pole position, man. Bosh! That was Neil McInnes that went into him. So McInnes had a super start. And, well, look at the... We'll come back to looking at that situation in a minute. Here's the view from Lee Elric. So King grabs a little bit more curb than the others. The back end, there's no other option for it to go away. The, the, the big bang was just off camera there but we have now lost Callum King and Neil McInnes and there is Neil McInnes making his way round he had a, a very good start indeed McInnes started seventh and was up mixing it with Lee Elric who qualified in third place and Elric remember second in the standings and we'll come back to the point standings but the race leaders are going to pick up the safety car which joins from the tri-oval so Gary Clark having had a, a mega first lap from P2 on the grid and remember that the pole position man is a guest driver Stephen King guesting this weekend as well as Rory Clark and Jeff Clark and you can do two meetings at the end of the year as a guest driver non-scoring championship points safety car lights are off Gary Clark from David McNaughton and then in third place it is Alistair Smith and not allowed to race till they get to the greens the yellow is withdrawn from the starting gantry the green flag is waved Gary Clark as ever does a good restart this year's champion doesn't doesn't even need to be racing this weekend he could have put the car straight up for sale and not race this weekend but he's come out and he's showing what the car can do and as you've seen in, in that uh, problem that we had for Callum King on lap two it's uh it's a brave man who comes out to race these cars, particularly after securing a championship. 
And Stephen Goldie works his way through towards Clark Corner back end uh, looking very tail happy there for David McNaughton and in behind McNaughton now getting momentum is Alastair Smith he's going to look to the outside line so Smith the uh, right hand side of the two cars coming down towards us McNaughton on the inside not particularly defensive you can see a drying uh, drying line more on the outside line Smith's going to have a look up the inside down behind them we've got Cliff Harper in fourth place followed by Lee Elric which is the battle for second place in the championship we joined Lee Elric he's second in the championship and Cliff Harper who's immediately in front of him at the moment Harper in fourth will score 32 points here Lee Elric will pick up 30 and the gap between him and the championship is four points so Harper here at the moment on to score two more points and therefore close up the battle for second place to two points going into the last race of the year we don't know if either of them are going to finish and Elric makes a mistake the back end flicks around but he pulls it all back in Greg Sutherland immediately in behind in 97 he's closing down on him um, and Elric wants to get in front of Harper he wants to consolidate second place but little mistakes like that you've got to say happened because he was pushing and trying as hard as he could but it just went a little bit too far there is Cliff Harper who holds on to fourth place in this race 40 points for win 37 for second 35 for third 32 for fourth 30 for fifth place so Harper from Elric who's regained his composure now you've got to say Greg Sutherland is in behind and here's the view from Elric again coming up the hill into the afternoon sunshine here at Knock Hill Circuit and down towards Duffer Stip we'll see whether Elric can indeed make it past the man who's challenging him in the championship David McNaughton incidentally is fourth in the standings 18 points down on Cliff Harper so McNaughton in a strong position in this race but won't make as much of an advantage because these guys are not too far behind and you can see the lead battle going on McNaughton and Smith still dicing over second this is Ray McDowell up ahead of Ashley Morris Ashley who had two top 10 finishes last time out on the 11th of September and trying to get past the long term racer Ray McDowell comes up from Carlisle and Ashley Morris looking on the outside line here let's see whether Ashley can make the move past she's got her lights on Ashley qualified in ninth place Ray McDowell down in 14th McDowell on the inside line as they go through the hairpin following them is Stephen King in the green number seven and they go up the hill so King now up ahead oh and a little bit of uh, body rub there between Ray McDowell and the 77 Carl Morris still trying to get on terms rides the curbs just a little bit there and loses out so Ray McDowell but a physical racing between those two and Stephen King will continue to build that gap Rory Clark in behind Ashley Morris at the moment as they go through Clark Corner and so on to the last lap of the race and it is Gary Clark looking for a seventh win of the season Clark comes down into the hairpin for the last time he's got the fastest lap of the race as well 62.771 seconds and the Cytec car this year's champion is going to take this one from Alistair Smith in second place tail out from David McNaughton in third but Gary Clark takes a seventh win of the year Alistair Smith second David McNaughton is in third place Lee Elric indeed managed to pass Cliff Harper Harper just fending off Greg Sutherland then Stephen Goldie across the line from Douglas Simpson Richard Sutherland is next from Liam Grant then it is Stephen King in close proximity is Ray McDowell McDowell ahead of Ashley Morris Rory Clark Jeff Clark and Gordon McShannock and indeed that is the way they were classified aside from Ray McDowell who was excluded for driving in a manner incompatible with safety so that promoted Ashley Morris to 12th Rory Clark to 13th Jeff Clark 14th and Gordon McShannock in 15th place
Gary Clark, um, our champion crowned at the last meeting. You've turned up here. Callum beat you in qualifying, but yet again in the race, you can't put a foot wrong and you've taken yet another win. No, I seem to get a better start that time. It seems to be like a down kind of fall eye year ever starts, but good launch that time and got in front of Callum at the start. And then I think I had a wee incident with Neil McInnes there, so I took a safety car out and got a good start at the safety car, but then caught it back up at a hairpin. So my lead was kind of gone again and hit David, but just he'd do it and put in some good laps and get a gap. And, Good to get another win. Ali, second place overall, um, a great result there. A bit of carnage along the way. Were you involved? Did you see what happened with Callum and Neil? Aye, Callum clipped my rear quarter and spun his cell out. So, yeah, and then what happened after that. But it didn't look good, like. Well, after the safety car, it didn't slow you down and a really solid second place. Aye, it's good. Did you overhear Gary saying he'll be back next year? Are you one of the people that's not going to be too happy with that decision? I'll be. No matter what happens, I'll be here probably. Give it a go. Well done. Cheers. Dave, um, you're going to look back at this over the Christmas break as the year that could have been for you. There's been some really strong results, some double wins in there as well, but then when it hasn't gone well, it's gone really, really not well. Yeah, but it's been a very mixed emotion season-wise. Um, blowing engines, snap throttle cables and qualifying, all that kind of stuff. Taking that into consideration, had that not happened, we'd have been comfortable in second place. Gary, I think, would have won the championship regardless because we know how good Gary is, but uh, we should really be second or third. But we might get third yet, anything happened today, but yeah, really chuffed. Uh, big thanks again to all the sponsors been with me all year again uh, ALM, Trap Prep and Balgoni Motor, Motor Company can't thank them all enough um, without you guys wouldn't be up the front so roll on next year We will have a wee chat with Ali Smith Ali isn't our pole man our pole man is Gary Clark who is obviously our champion Gary not here yet but he will be lining up on pole position and I'll swing around this side and have a chat with Ali Ali, uh, you've been having a great day so far, a great result in race one. Um, this could be a chance for a win. Gary's on a roll. He is our champion. He'll be lining up in front of you on pole position, but surely last chance of the year we're going to see a win here for you. I'm going to give it a good go. I'm going to give it a good go. That's all you can do. Aye, right. see how we get off the start. Is that Gary's uh, weak point, obviously? Is your strong point in the start? Yeah, hopefully. It's been all right today, so see how it goes. Good stuff. Good luck. Good. And with that, for the final time this year for the BMWs, Richard, it's over to you. Gary Clark and Alistair Smith on the front row. David McNaughton and Lee Elric on row two. Cliff Harper and Greg Sutherland on the third row. And then Stephen Goldie and Douglas Simpson. Richard Sutherland on row five with Liam Grant. Then it's Stephen King and Ashley Morris. Rory Clark and Jeff Clark. Gordon McShannock and Andrew Mackey. Neil McInnes and Ray McDowell completing the grid. Callum King, sadly, a non-starter for our 16th and final race of the season. It's been a great year. It's the fourth season of Scottish BMW Racing and Gary Clark looking to go out with an eighth win of the year the lights are on out they go good start from the front row in fact everybody making a, a terrific start and it's Gary Clark the leader this is where Alistair Smith really fancied his chances in the interview we've got David McNaughton in third place looking for third in the championship Liam Grant chasing well there Stephen Goldie as well lock up on the brakes as they go down into Scotsman and in fact it is Alistair Smith that leads Smith leading from Clark McNaughton then Lee Elric in fourth place Elric here if he stays ahead of Cliff Harper will secure second in the championship there in 53 Hamilton based racer Andrew Mackey oh Smith goes wide kicks up the dirt there Elric is busy challenging McNaughton at the moment for third place wants to get further ahead of Cliff Harper Harper is McNaughton's target in this race well obviously McNaughton's ahead of Cliff Harper at the moment in the race and needs to outscore Harper by 14 points to claim third place in the championship and I suggest that Harper's going to have to finish well outside the top six for that to happen so here is David McNaughton third place on the road Alistair Smith are we going to see a first win for Alistair Smith he, he knew that Gary Clark perhaps wasn't going to be as quick off the start that was suggested in the interviews but what we didn't take into account there was racecraft from Gary Clark which we've seen all year long and he's got plenty of time 12 laps in actual fact to reel in the race leader Stephen King goes through shot as well as Neil McInnes in 91 then Ashley Morris followed by Richard Sutherland in blue 90 Sutherland's going to have a look to the inside line there's been good progress in the early stages as well by Ray McDowell who's trying to come through in the custard yellow coloured car so some super dicing as ever going on right the way down the order 
and McInnes is the man on the mission here on the inside line of Stephen King and goes through good that McInnes made it out for race two as we said Callum King not taking to the start in this one and uh, after that exit on lap number two of race one but Clark still chasing Lee Elric is there now in third place ahead of David McNaughton so it looks like if they all stay on I've got to say that by and large haven't had huge numbers of, of non-finishes in the BMWs this year so good driving standards good reliability and prep on these cars which are extremely cost effective to put on track unusually had three non-finishes in race number one though Andrew Mackey joining Neil McInnes and Callum King as Gary Clark tries to hunt down the race leader Alistair Smith are we going to see a maiden win for Smith the man from Peterhead who is out front but as I said Gary Clark's racecraft has never been in doubt and he's keeping the race leader very honest indeed at the moment second place in race number one best finish for Alistair Smith prior to that we'd seen him on the podium in round five in May and also in round nine here and Gary Clark wants to go out with a win Lee Elric still there in third place and you've got to say those guys dropping away Smith setting fastest lap of the race coming over the hill and down into Duffus we go again Gary Clark chasing hard Clark was newcomers champion last year runner up to Steve Daly who's moved on to the national BMWs now and prior to that double champion Alan Kakodi with Stephen Daly taking runner up slot in 2014 Mark Souter was third that year and originally this class of course started as a class within the Scottish Saloon and Sports Car Championship but grew very very quickly indeed and by the end of that first season we were running standalone races the Scottish Motor Racing Club managing to find the time to put these cars out on their own as we pick up on Stephen King being chased by Rory Clark Rory one of the uh, guest drivers coming in the end of the season you can see a newcomer to racing with the black cross on the back of the car Ray McDowell now having caught Ashley Morris so we're going to see some fireworks between these two again very physical stuff in race number one and uh, McDowell not close enough I think to, to put in a challenge there David McNaughton being challenged by Cliff Harper Harper remember third in the standings so at the minute fourth place in the offing here for McNaughton 32 he'll only pull back two points out of the 13 Lee Elric's ahead by three points so Elric will secure assuming he gets the car home to the finish and that's going to be key for Lee Elric the black car with the green trim needs to finish in order to secure th uh, second place in the championship behind Gary Clark and he's looking good for that at the moment 81 car is Douglas Simpson and Simpson coming under pressure from Greg Sutherland meanwhile Harper getting stuck in and looking at the inside line here of David McNaughton can't quite do it but Cliff Harper who was third in the championship last year as well always fast always consistent Cliff Harper and really putting the pressure on David McNaughton this is good news for Lee Elric he's got a bit of a gap anyway but certainly not going to hinder his cause as well as Douglas Simpson and Greg Sutherland come down the hill Simpson looking on the inside line squeezes on the curbs the back end gets a little bit squirrely but he pulls it all back in and goes for the wide line into Scotsman corner and will be looking for the inside line rides the curbs a little bit there so Greg Sutherland holds on to sixth position in red Greg Sutherland of course won the opening round of the year had a retirement in race two we saw him back on the podium when he rejoined us in August Gary Clark still trying to chase Alistair Smith here is Lee Elric in black for third place and McNaughton and Harper still very much at it as are Simpson and Sutherland Greg Sutherland in front at the moment Douglas Simpson in the 81 car is going to have a look Simpson's results have been getting better and better started with 13th and 9th at race number one since then he's pretty much been in the top 10 all the time but we're into the last lap and Alistair Smith is looking good here it was the start that did the business for him he stayed in front he soaked up the pressure from this year's champion Gary Clark and continues to do so 
and Clark here would like nothing more than getting past on the last lap through the chicane possibly Smith rode a little bit too far over the hot dog curb on the inside but hasn't lost momentum although Clark has a little look down the inside line flicks back to the outside racing line Clark could get a run here the back end was a little bit wayward there up through Clark is he going to be able to have the momentum to perhaps dive down the inside coming into the hairpin for the last time Smith goes defensive he knows what he's doing Clark goes to the outside line and Smith comes back out onto the racing line out of the hairpin it looks like he's going to take a maiden win because I don't think Clark has got the momentum to beat him the chequered flag is ready and Alistair Smith takes his first win Gary Clark this year's champion is second Lee Elric will cement second place in the standings he is across the line David Norton finishes fourth in the race and in the standings Cliff Harper took fifth place and that means that he gets third place in the overall championship a great race to end the 2016 Scottish BMW championship here they come across the line Ashley Morris beats Ray McDowell there then it was Liam Grant Stephen King Rory Clark next up from Andrew Mackey Jeff Clark was 17th from Gordon McShannock and official confirmation for you Alistair Smith beating this year's champion Gary Clark Lee Elric next from David McNaughton and Cliff Harper Greg Sutherland 6th from Douglas Simpson Neil McKinney Stephen Goldie Richard Sutherland Alistair Smith fastest lap by the way in that race 11th to Ashley Morris from Ray McDowell Liam Grant Stephen King Rory Clark Andrew Mackey Jeff Clark and Gordon McShannock in 18th Ali, well done. First win. Um, fantastic and cleverly predicted by me, I'll say, at the beginning there. A handful of trophies to go home with. What a fantastic start to the 2017 campaign. Well, we've got to come back now. Try exactly. Again. Try again. You mentioned the car might be up for sale and a fresh build for next year? Aye. It looks like it plans. See if it can get itself first and see what happens. Well done. Cheers. Lee, well done. Um, a solid podium finish, but more importantly, second overall. A great year. Yeah, uh, that was a bit of a lonely race once I got by David McNaughton, but it kind of spiced up towards the end because my car was running dry of fuel the last two laps, so that was twitchy. So it just managed to make it to the finishing no more, I think, so luck was on my side for once. Well done, and good luck in 2017 because we're going to see a championship challenge, I'm sure. Well, here's hoping. Thanks very much. Gary Clark, Mr. BMW, taking the um, title from Stephen Daly, who took it from Alan Cody, but you're the new one. Are you going to come back and defend it? Because we haven't seen anybody do that yet. It's looking like a well at the moment, like, but as I said before, we maybe need to yeah, we'll work out a... Uh, I'd like to do the English Championship, but I think it's going to cost too much. Just the travelling and the extra expenses, so... Looking like we'll be back in Scotland just now, but we'll have to wait and see. Well done on a great season. You've been a step above everybody else all year, so congratulations on the 2016 Championship. Thanks very much. And unfortunately, that brings today's racing to a close from the BMWs. But again, what fantastic action we've seen. Make sure you tune in in 2017 for more of the same.